What's up, that is Mr. Mike Kaufman. And in this video, we are taking a look at Google My Maps, which is a powerful uh, mapping tool by Google, which allows you to create customizable uh, maps, adding in your own markers and information. It's awesome, it's cool. Hope you use it, I hope you love it. Let's go. All right, to get started, we're gonna take a look at how you can access uh, Google My Maps. And you can do that uh, one of several ways. And the first way is in Google Drive. You can click on New, choose More, and click Google My Maps. And it's gonna open up a new map. Now notice in my drive, I've also got one that I created earlier, as well as the one I just created. There's one other way I wanna show you, which is to go to google.com slash my map. Now this is gonna bring you to the app homepage, and it's gonna give you a couple of different options, uh, maps that are owned by you, shared with you, ones you've recently used, as well as a feature which allows you to explore public Google My Maps. Uh, it's a great way to get a sense of different types of maps that you can create, just some good exemplars of what's possible using this tool, and you can check out what other people are doing. I'm going to close this out and get back to the map that I just started. All right, now notice the home location is wherever you are. I'm in Mexico, so that's the center of my map. Now, the first thing I want to do is I want to give my map a title, and this map's going to be all about my hometown. Can add a description, click save. All right, so now the first thing we're gonna take a look at are layers. Google My Maps allows you to add a variety of layers, which helps you to organize the information that you're adding to the map. And it also allows you to hide and show. It's a great feature, one that you should be using. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna title my map and I'm gonna just name it HP My Home Town. Now, to add a marker or a specific location, I can do it one of several ways. And the first way is to search it up top in the search bar. And it's going to bring the pin to the center of your location. And then I can choose now to add this to my map by simply adding, clicking on the plus button. Now, notice that Google gives you some information that, you, that it thinks will uh, be helpful to you. Right, the name of the place, its uh, location, as well as links to different websites, in this case, the official town website, as well as to a link to view it, into, uh, to view it in Google Maps. All right, now you can choose to remove it, as well as edit the information. I actually am gonna remove it, and I'm gonna add in my own uh, description. And click Save. Now, a couple different things that you can do here with your marker. The first one is to customize the style. So I can go in there and I can change the color. And then I can choose different icons. Now they got some popular ones up top, but you can also click on more and you can browse through the variety of icons that they have. You can see they've got lots. You can filter it by searching for specific ones. You can also click to choose to see the older icon styles if these float your boat or not. And then a feature that I love is custom icons where you can then upload your own image um, or take one from your web camera, something from a URL, something you already have on Drive or your photos, um, or one from your device, as well as one that you search on Google. Uh, just one piece of advice here is if you are adding one, um, try to find one with a transparent background. That way we stop using the images with the white boxes around it. It does not look good. Let's not do it. All right, I'm going to cancel um, here, and I'm just gonna actually going to go up to the shapes. It's my hometown, which I love, so I'm going to choose the heart give it a red color and be done. Now, another cool feature here is I can now add an image or a video to this marker location. Again, adding images from my webcam or something from Drive, as well as searching images or videos on YouTube. Now, what's really cool here um, and a way to kick up your students learning is to have them add again, images or media to their locations and to really kick it up, um, have them create their own informational video, upload it to YouTube and then add it to the location. Really will show you what it is that they've learned. In this case, I'm just gonna do a Google image search. Same different uh, search features in Google and I'm gonna choose an image here of the farmer's market. Click select and there it is. Now I've got a couple options here. I could add more images to create a slideshow of the location or as well as delete the image if I'm not feeling it. Now let me click save. All right, so now let's take a look at another way to add a location or a marker to your map. In this case, I'm gonna zoom in a bit. 
I'm gonna add a location to where I grew up, which is right here on Central Avenue, right in that house there. So to do that, I'm gonna click on this button here that says add marker. It's gonna turn my cursor into crosshairs, and then I'm going to drop a marker right on top of my hometown or my home, childhood home. Again, I can add descriptions. This is again where you can have students do research or add information uh, to their map. Click save. Again, I'm going to customize the style. I'm going to use the house icon. Uh, let's go. I like this darker blue. I can again add an image and so forth. And uh, now another location I'm going to add is to Highland Pizza, where I liked to get pizza growing up. Again, I'm going to click on the add marker. It was right there in the corner of 27 and 6. Add a description. Click save, and again, I'm going to customize it. It's a food place. Let's go red. And again, I can choose to add an image or not. Now, another feature here is to add directions to this location. And when I do so, it's going to actually add the directions in a new layer. All right, so here is then home to pizza. I'm going to click save, and the location, the starting location is my home, which is 1306 Central Avenue. And there it is. All right, so now this is a new layer. And again, one of the nice features of layers is you can then choose to hide or show. All right, let's go and take a look at some more features. I'm going to hide that layer and go back up to my original layer. And I'm going to show you the measurement tool, right? So the location or the directions that Google gave me is not actually how I walked to Highland Pizza because I had a couple shortcuts. I want to figure out how far it was from my home to getting a slice of hot cheese. All right, so I walked up Central, I walked halfway down South 10th, I cut through the apartments right there. I head down to 27. Typically I cross the street right at 7th, and then I'm gonna double click. And it took me about 785 meters to uh, get a slice of pizza. Now, this tool can also measure area. So I'm gonna measure the area of the block in which my home was. We spent tons of time running around this block, cutting through people's homes, playing tag, um, and hide and seek, manhunt, all types of fun stuff. And the area of that block right, is about a little over one hectare, and the uh, perimeter is 501 meters. Now notice with this tool, when you click off of it, right, the measurement disappears. So there's another way that we can get measurements that then become permanent additions to our map. And to show you that, I'm actually gonna add a new layer and I'm going to name it HP measurements, click save. And now notice I'm now in this layer. So all the new information I add is going to be in this layer. If I want to go back to my other one, I can just click, uh, select it and I'll know I'm on it because it'll be blue over there on the side. So I'm going to show you then draw a line tool. I'm going to add a line or shape. And again, I want to add how long it took me to get to Highland Pizza, and walked down, crossed over here on 7th, double click, and again, I'm gonna, now I can name this, add a description, and then similar to the markers, I can customize the style, the line width, I can again add images, I can always edit the description or delete it. This also works for area. So let's say I want to take a look at the area of Highland Park High School. Now in this view, it's a little bit hard to see the exact outline of the school. And what I want to do then is show you another feature, which is changing the style of your base map. Come down here, click the draw down menu, and you've got nine base map features or styles. And I'm going to choose satellite. I'm going to zoom in a bit. All right, so there it is, Highland Park High School. And I want to figure out the area of it. I'm going to go back to my draw a line tool, add a line or shape. And I'm going to outline HPHS, a little bit different when I was there. Notice uh, Google will scroll up automatically. Super helpful feature. Through the woods, down parking lot, back down Fifth Avenue. And let me close out that square and give it a name. Clicked out of that too fast, HPHS. I can add a description here. Again, a great place to have students add what they're learning. 
Notice now the area and the perimeter show up right there. I can customize the style as always, mess around with transparency and border width, and so forth. So now if I zoom out, right here I've got now a couple different layers. I can hide them or show them, right? I'm just different locations here. Now the next thing I want to show you is how to add a layer and then add information from a spreadsheet. So if you've got kids doing research or doing a Google form, uh, you can then add the results to a Google My Maps. Pretty cool thing. And I'm going to show you how to do it right there. In this case, the layer is places in NJ to visit, right? Places I used to go to as a kid. And notice Google My Maps is prompting me to import information. I can do it from a CSV file or a Google Excel file or a Microsoft Excel file, or again, directly from Drive with Google Sheets, which is what I'm going to do. Click select. And now it's going to ask me how I want to organize my information. Now the location is based on the location uh, heading from the column location in my sheet. And what do I want to name it? In this case, instead of location, I want to name it by type of trip. I'm going to click finish. It's going to fetch the info and plug it into my map. There it is, right? So here are the places that I visited as a kid. Delaware Water Gap, where I would take trips down the river. Lake Owasso, where I spent my summers and then a couple of places down on the shore that I used to go to. Now, similar to the other things, you can customize your styles. I can do uniform style with all the same, I can do individual style. I'm gonna give it a label. So notice when I click that, and now it's labeled up there to make it easier to see. I can then quickly change the different icons and styles. It's a place where I do lots of hiking, let's make it green, and so forth. And again, I can hide and show the different layers. All right, a couple more features we wanna show you here now is one, like any other Google product, this is a great collaborative tool and I can share it. I can either change the settings in general to share it publicly or different people in my domain. I can also add specific people to edit or to view. So I can add a team of people to collaborate on this map together, similar to any other Google file. And then the other thing I want to do is show you what it looks like when it's public and I'm showing this or sharing this with uh, people. So this is what the map actually looks like publicly, right? Now notice, right, this is the view only when I'm actually share it, which I haven't done yet. And this is the view that people will get, right? So they can take a look at how my walk to pizza was. And again, the information and images would pop up right there, right? So there's the image I added, the descriptions and so forth. Right, they can check out the different places that I visited and so forth. Right, so it's a great place again for students to show off and explore their learning uh, using this powerful mapping tool, Google My Maps. Again, I hope you love it. I hope you use it. Good luck.